7 News at 10 starts now. Good evening. Glad you're with us tonight. Parents now have a powerful new way to track COVID in the classroom. Department of Health and Environmental Control unveiled a new tool today that includes that information for students and employees in all K-12 grade public and uh, private schools. 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell has the details. You can now identify and track cases of COVID-19 in individual schools across the state. Take a look at this map. The dots make it look like there are a lot of cases, but really the numbers are pretty low. On a new online dashboard, the Department of Health and Environmental Control shows 158 cases of COVID-19 associated with South Carolina schools as of Thursday. 89 of those cases are identified as students. Melissa Robinette is with Spartanburg District 5 Schools. I think going into this school year, um, we all knew that code infections are going to happen. Uh, we can't keep this virus out of our schools. Out of nearly 10,000 students and more than 1,200 employees in Spartanburg District 5, no more than 20 cases have been identified by DHEX count. Anytime a student or a staff member is sick, we don't like to hear that, but the numbers are relatively low. Only three schools in the district reported any cases, and none of those had more than 10. In Greenville County, home to the state's largest school district, cases were identified at public, private, and charter schools. But the data shows most schools in the county didn't have any cases identified, and those that did had fewer than five. According to DHEC, the cases reported on this dashboard were not necessarily picked up at school. DHEC will be updating their data on cases in schools online on Tuesday and Friday afternoons. The numbers will include cumulative and rolling 30-day counts of confirmed cases. But DHEC notes that individual districts may choose to release data more frequently. We've been reporting this data to our parents, our staff, and our community, um, like I said, for more than two weeks prior to the state coming out with this tool. Robinette says their information is posted on the district website and updated daily. And DHEC may be making improvements to this online tool in the coming days as they get more feedback. In Greenville and Maxwell 7 News. If you wanted to know about cases in a particular district or school, you can find a link to that information on WSPA.com.